everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and we've got a rather unique network attached storage device to take a look at. This is the Fireproof and Floodproof IO Safe 214. It is a monster. It's about 30 pounds of metal and porcelain and some kind of ceramic material uh, that will protect the hard drives inside from a fire of about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit for over 30 minutes. And it will also survive being submerged 10 feet underwater for multiple days. So it can survive the fire and the fire department uh, coming in to put it out. Now what's neat about this is that this is a Synology network attached storage device. In fact, it has the guts of a Synology 214, DS214. And I've covered the Synology operating system in depth if you check out my review of the DS214 SE. So I'm not gonna go into how all of this works because it is identical uh, to any other Synology drive that you've used because all of the components are from them. So, uh, but briefly, you've got a USB on the front here that you can offload things from an external hard drive. You also have USB 3.0, uh, two of those ports on the back for also attaching additional um, backup storage devices as well as gigabit ethernet. But the real feature of this product is the fact that uh, it will really protect your drives quite well. And in fact, the company says they will stand behind the, the, uh, the performance of this device by uh, helping you to recover your data. Now, this comes with a couple of different configurations. And if you get it with drives installed, uh, they will try to recover the data from you, even if it's not like a fire or a flood or something like that. So they do recommend, of course, that you keep good backups and all of that sort of thing, but um, they will uh, uh, give you some uh, credit towards some data recovery. So I think they try to recover the data internally, and then if that doesn't work, uh, they will send it off to Drive Savers. And I think depending on the model that you have, uh, you'll get about $2,500 in credit to Drive Savers. Um, but I'll tell you what, when you look at how this thing is constructed, the chances are that your data is probably going to survive. So this is the front door and it, you can see it's screwed in pretty tightly. Um, this is like a, a solid block of some kind of ceramic material. Uh, this is solid metal. Um, so you can get a sense already that this is like a really uh, well-built device here. So this is not plastic. This is like solid, some kind of ceramic thing that is uh, protecting and uh, also keeping high temperatures away from the inner uh, seal here. Now, the two drives are inside of this door. So I'm going to pop this off. Now, when I initially uh, opened this up for the first time, I heard air coming out of here. And I guess they uh, packaged this up. Uh, 1,500 feet above sea level. So when it got to me, where I'm a little bit lower, there was a pressure differential. Um, but I'll tell you what, there is nothing getting through this thing. This is a really thick, um, again, solid metal door. Um, a really thick gasket here to prevent uh, things from leaking out. And then inside, finally, you get to the drives. And we'll just take one of these drives out so you can see how it looks. This uh, particular model has two one terabyte drives. You can configure them any which way you want. Um, I do suggest doing it as a RAID 1 array where these two drives will uh, mirror each other internally. And then, of course, having multiple backups that you can uh, take off site. So this is it. There's a Toshiba uh, drive here. I, I'm not sure how fast it is, but this is a um, let's see, I don't even know what uh, model number it is here. This is a DT01 ACA100. So I'm not sure of the, the drive performance, but we'll do some benchmarks in a minute. And what's neat is, is that uh, it has a way of passively uh, directing the heat out of the device. Because obviously, if you seal drives in something like this, you're um, asking for heat buildup. And what they've done is they've put a passive heat sink in here. And I guess the heat gets transferred to uh, this porcelain component here. And by the way, this is like rock solid and really thick. Uh, and then the, uh, the heat is uh, forced out by a fan here, but there's nothing, like there's nothing exposed here that's going to burn. Like this is a completely encapsulated uh, chamber in here where these drives are kept. So um, I'm pretty confident um, that this is gonna hold up. Now the fire department wouldn't let me um, burn it. Um, so uh, we'll have to just take their word for it. But I can tell you just based on the construction playing around with this, um, it is really rock solid. Now I also ran some benchmarks on this. And again, this has the DS214 guts inside of it. And what a really fast network attached storage device. I was getting, even in RAID 1, which is where those drives are mirrored, I was seeing read and write speeds of about 100 megabytes per second uh, pretty consistently. It was a little bit of a performance hit when I switched from that RAID 0 mode where you stripe across both drives to uh, the mirrored configuration. But I was surprised to not see as big of a performance hit uh, as I did. So I think as far as performance is concerned, uh, this is a very high performing uh, device with a really good 
network attached storage system uh, behind it. And I think it's going to uh, work quite well, not only in providing good uh, service to your home or office with uh, data to uh, transfer around your network, but also um, in case anything bad happens, it will uh, protect you quite well, along with a pretty good data recovery warranty as well. One more thing to point out is that uh, if you do decide to use your own drives, that warranty kind of changes. So uh, you'll want to contact them before you try to put in your own drives uh, because that warranty extends only to the ones that uh, come with it directly. The diskless version uh, does not have a recovery warranty as part of the package, but you can, uh, I think, purchase something from them uh, to add that peace of mind as well. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.